Oh, there we go. Oh, we good. It's 12 o'clock. Welcome to Taking Stock. It's the 12th, the 12th, 2023. Johnny Boy's here. You all right, Johnny? Not bad. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. It's fun to see. We had a, a fun to sing. It's funny. We had a, a bit of a discussion yesterday uh, when you were in here, and I think it was Informer, who's quite down on Hargreaves Lansdowne, mm, saying mm. he thinks Robin Hood, when they come to the UK, obviously there's a lot of these accounts now. There's free trade, 212, Robin Hood coming. You know, it's free to trade. Pretty much, they do ice mm-hmm. as well, um, and and he was saying that they, they will they take uh, a, a bit of a hammering. Hargreaves Lansdowne, I, said, I don't know. Is you know they have to spend a lot of marketing to get the kind of market share that Hargreaves Lansdowne has got, or to make an impact on them. But out today, and it's covered on Vox front page here as well. Uh, let's just share the screen, and we'll talk about this. By the by the by the way, a bit of housekeeping. Uh, by all means, you know, hit that subscribe button if you could. We're getting there slowly. Come on, hit the subscribe button, uh, like it if you like the content, uh, and of course, download the Vox Markets app, voxmarkets.co.uk, for us an app. Mm. Um, in fact, Johnny, one of yours here as well. A regulator and probe will be we'll going to into that, <laughs> but uh, that's not good news, is it? Uh, they're greenwashing, apparently. Um, oh, um, they wouldn't be the, the only ones. Yeah. Hargreaves lands down, AJ Bell taking a tumble on double dipping. So this is what? Fees they're charging and uh, um, in, interest on money. Is that right? Yeah. So, so they're charging customers fees and taking money on their, um, taking the interest payments on their, their cash hold. Yeah. So if you've got money in, a, in your broker sitting in cash, then then Hargreaves is making a turn on that. Yeah. And quite a healthy one as well. Quite a healthy yeah, but, one. But, well, to, to repeat those figures, the breakdown of revenue they get, because that was quite interesting. I didn't suspect that they were making the most money so, from that section. So they make 230 cents in the last four years to June 23, 236.4 million from fund fees, 147.7 from share commissions and equity holding charges, and then 268.7 million on uh, net interest and on cash held in investment accounts. Wow. So, so they're making the most biggest, money just holding their people's biggest cash. revenue line holding cash. Um, and it's very, very profitable, as you would imagine. Yeah, well, that's why, you know, in, in formal was in there, that's why they do quite well, because they've got a lot of people's cash there, and mm. they're earning a decent amount of money off it. But um, well, the, 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 the FCA published a letter, and, um, you know, in this letter, they uh, they mention that... Where's this letter gone? Uh, it's one year, so this may not reasonably reflect the cost to firms of managing the cash. They, no. they sent uh, 42 firms, 29 this latitude, and they apparently... And, yeah, um, yeah. And they, they said, till, if, you know, yeah. yeah, till February to, to to rectify this. Yeah. Um, and the FCA said, if they don't rectify it, we will intervene. Quote. Mm-hmm. Um, they, uh, I've got this story off Bloomberg. Actually, they reckon that the forty-two brokers in June alone earned seventy-four uh, million from retained interest. Actually, it was a regulatory yeah. survey that found that. So you know, that's yeah. a, that's a that's a very large number. Uh, and obviously, um, you know, it's gone up because. Um, you know, interest rates have gone up. So again, well, it's, it's just a, it's the same old story of not passing on interest interest yeah, rates. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, we we do have another fund manager, sort of St James's Place, a while back, be scrutinised by the FCA and all that stuff. Saying, you know, your your fees are too high and all this stuff. Um, yeah, and, that's. And you, the thing is, 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 is it sort of a natural market disruption? You are getting these free people come in. In the end. People will, in fact, one of the comments, you know, from yesterday, uh, let me just look at this. Uh, Stephen said, Justin, I'm migrating away from HL and switching to AJ Bell gradually. Oh, she's, she's, she's one or the other. Okay. HL are expensive. I will retain a foothold with them because their website is good, better than the competitors. I'm considering other platforms, but the free trade ones must have a catch. I suspect uh, it will be spread on trading. I said this be. Uh, as they have to make their money somehow. Well, or or uh, stock stock lending was another way that, that, um, that free brokers yeah. used to make money. Yeah, but uh, also, like I said, if they are uh, um, uh, you know, amassing lots of cash, then uh, surely they can, uh, you know, sit on that for a bit. I know, I know mm. a lot of these startups are not making money, are they? I mean, free trade is losing money. Two on two, I suspect, is not making money. I don't know, Robin Hood. So they're not actually making money here. They're trying to gain market share because it's a very lucrative business. If Once you, you were, get into it, if you were offering, you know, if you were offering free platform fees and free, you know, uh, equity trading commissions, then there would be a case for saying, but we make our money if you leave your investments in cash. We'll yeah. take the interest. You know, you can you can sort of accept that that you're yeah. getting one thing for free, but but you're giving something up. But but I guess the the regulators' problem here is that that um, some of these bigger brokers are, are enjoying the best of both worlds. It's like that Seinfeld sketch: no double dipping. 
<laughs> no, they're in that party and he's just double dipping this little thing. Hey, you double funny dipping, you're double dip. Funny, funny enough, my observation said there's three, essentially three, you know, major listed brokers, Hargreaves and AJ Bell. AJ Bell had some numbers out this week, as you can see from that chart. The numbers were great. You know, they went uh, up to me. They got they rose up. there, 15, and then they've shot 16%. down again. Yeah, look at that, sixteen percent, and now they can't. Mm. To be fair, I mean, they're not at previous lows, which says something. It, it may take a while to, you know, because of course this is news just come out today. But you know, Hargreaves there did it a low pretty much at six eighty. They're now seven twelve, so they're not hitting that low. I mean, mm. if, if any worries are out there, maybe they, you could argue the price thing because like they come down a heck of a long way. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, the, the broker I use uh, is interactive. Yeah. Which was bought um, by uh, Aberdeen. How you want to pronounce it without vowels in it? Aberdeen. In, yeah, Aberdeen. Um, they're off slightly less today. Aberdeen uh, Interactive do pay interest on uh, cash holdings, but okay. maybe not passing it on in full. But I reckon I get about three and a half percent on my okay. on my cash that sits right. there. So it's not terrible. Did they do that with Aberdeen just to bring in the Scottish accent? Thing? Aberdeen. <laughs> Sorry, Aberdeen. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't, you know, I just, um, uh, yeah, the classic, um, classic corporate pointless rebranding. Yeah, so as you know, it's a big week this week for you know, the Fed first come out with interest rate, uh, you know, announcement, then the Bank of England and the ECB. Uh, but I keep saying, you know, bad news is good news. That's the title here of this thing. And uh, as you can see here, UK pay growth slows, and mm, job market mm. stalls, yeah, excluding bonuses, ease to seven point three, still high. But I mean, that will come down. As interest inflation comes out, but look at this. This is quite worrying. Um, pacing inflation. The number of people on payrolls eased while the UK job vacancies also continued to fall this time by forty five thousand between December. Now this is now the longest period of decline on record, longer than the immediate aftermath of the two thousand and eight downturn. That must surely, you know, flag up to the central banks where we are at the moment. You know, mm -hmm. we're going into things are slowing down. It's not going to get any better. I can't see the job markets picking up in next year because you've still got high interest rates, costs, and all that stuff. You know, cost of inflation, is, cost of goods is still going up. Yeah, maybe it's yeah. slower, but it's still going up. And look at this: this is a seventeen month in a row that that number has fallen. That you know should well. I mean, well let's be honest: it's pretty much nailed on this week. They're not going to hike rates, but that there is to me would should flash red warning signals because this comes before inflation, of course. People behaviourally. People take a while to adapt, don't they? You know, and sooner or later, people after Christmas, there's that real. We spent a lot, and uh, my business is not doing well, or in my employer is, is worrying a bit, and and people start to tighten their belts massively. So I think mm. you know, inflation will come down, and jobs numbers will go up, and the central banks will have to stimulate, uh, or or at least ease on inflation rates, or interest rates. I mean, you know. So uh, yeah, well, we yeah. had some numbers this week from uh, Begley's Trainers, which is the insolvency yeah. practitioner. So you know, there was a there was a clue in those numbers. They were they were really good numbers. Um, but they're, they're seeing you know high, higher uh, year on year insolvency activity. Um, yeah. so, so and obviously that will have a knock on effect into the jobs market as well. So so you know the economy is getting tough. The you know the medicine is working. Yeah. Um, but in, in, you know not, not medicine that's good for the rest of us. Good good for yeah. the you know the fight against inflation. But yeah. but we uh, are you know we are starting to see very clear signs that that, that these forces are becoming extremely recessionary. Um, H and T interestingly one of mine. Uh, yeah. No, quite Wasn't sharply it? yesterday. Yeah, why is that? I saw what? that. I mean, uh, why why did that happen? Well, so basically, no news. Uh, there was no yeah. news that came through the RNS, but but Shore Cap, who are their house broker, uh, upgraded their forecast for twenty. 24 and 25, or say upgraded, they downgraded their profit forecast for 24 and 25, and it's basically uh, based on higher wage costs. Their costs, oh, okay. their costs are rising. So the, the 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 loan book, the pledge book, is is getting bigger. But the costs of, of, of running the business are, are getting higher. Uh, so that's right, had a material effect. Like just when it was breaking out, it, 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 you can yeah. see that support level there. It dipped down below it, broke back above it, bumped to a remove average, and I was back down almost below that, or right on that support level. Yeah, there, sort of yeah. 20. But, but I think, you know, I, I saw that as an example where, you know, obviously I hold it up, I'll get rid of it. So I still think it's a good business. Um, and I don't think it will be alone in, in suffering these, these um, you know, these elevated wage costs, you know. Mm. still rising. Yeah. They might not be rising as quickly as they were, but they are still rising quickly. Yeah. Um, and so I think, I think this could be the first of many any similar warnings about the, the actual costs of, 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 uh, of staffing. And again, yeah, that it, will potentially it, it, translate it, into to, you know, more trimming, trimming of, of, of staff levels, potentially. It, well, exactly. But if you are a strong business and you're doing well, that's, so it's sort of fine. But I mean, how many businesses out there are strong and well, doing H well? 
know, is it's a strong it's business H&T doing well. No, that's what I'm saying. Begbie's trained the H&T, those kind of contrarian plays. And there are mm. others out there. And that's what I keep saying. Looking, uh, look around. You know, if you are in, in, a, in a sort of, uh, you know, uh, sort of high sort of intensity sort of uh, you know each a human resource company that have employ a lot of people you know and they have to re- re- increase their wages and that's in, in the face of a slowing down economy if you are consumer facing and it's also discretionary and you've got a bit of debt mm. it's it literally you are in trouble both ends there aren't you because yeah, in the yeah. end what you're going to have to do is you know reduce costs and your highest cost is labor so you get rid of people again that's the inflation because obviously yeah. less people with jobs less people spend i, th- I um, think that's it. i think that's a very good observation i think you know the, the the kind of perhaps red flags you should be looking for at a market at the moment are how how people intensive is the com- is the the company yes. you know you know what proportion of its costs are people and as you say how much debt is on its balance sheet if you've got if you've got uh something you know high labor costs and high debt then then i'll yeah. be very wary yes well high labor costs high debt but also almost consumer discretionary, you know that kind of thing as well. There is is is, is the making mm, of, mm, of a perfect mm. storm. You yeah. know, less demand, you know, you got higher costs, and uh, yeah. So uh, be careful there. Um, that's that's even if it hasn't really dropped dropped, dropped today. Yeah, they, they, it wouldn't they, drop on something like that. But, yeah, um, it wouldn't. It wouldn't drop on something like that. I think you know the problems that Unilever have, with the share price uh, in particular have, have been more that they should have worries about trading down from yeah. from brand new products. Slow, slow, ha- slow volume. Saying, they say the competition markets have been overstating how green certain products are, uh, so-called green products. Uh, they aren't what they seem. Yeah, so I expect a lot of people do uh, that. Though. Let's be honest. Who isn't yeah. doing that? I, I, yeah. It's, I mean, the thing, the thing is, it does sort of actually go and go back to the brand thing. There are lots of, if you know, if consumers are becoming more ecologically conscious, then there are lots of brands out there that are genuinely green. What will always really happen is Unilever will buy them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's uh, quick comments here. By all means, comment, join in. Um, hi, you mentioned future a few times in recent videos. You said you were looking to invest before the recent update. No, not before the recent update. Oh, no, 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 no. In this market, <laughs> never invest be, uh, you know, before financial results come out. Um, is it fair to say you invested? After the share price crash, no, it's, it's not fair to say that at all. <laughs> no, I mean, if you know me, I've been banging on about. I, I, I keep banging on about it, but obviously not enough. But I look at uh, you know growth, value, health, efficiency, potential, momentum, and um, they haven't. First of all, I mean, where they are good is this. I mean, they they've got efficiency, they've got good margins, uh, they've got good potential as well, and the valuation is very good. They're now not a growth company, so they'll have to get that growth back. But the CEO said they were going to get growth back. Uh, but one of the most important things is, like I keep banging on about the chart, is momentum. And literally hasn't got any momentum. I would never buy into a company where, uh, you know, it's looking like this in the chart. It's like, it's essentially, where would, if you, you know, if you want to get, if you want to swim and swim fast, where do you want to swim? With the current or against it? Uh, and that is really against the current. Look, it, it did, it's dropped off a cliff there. There's no momentum there at all. Even if you put on a, a short trading arm, the 20 day moving average, it's not crossing. And if I you think we're back, still seeing a lot of share prices looking like that at the moment. Yeah. And if you look back at any rise it's ever had, right, it has to cross those moving averages before it gets anywhere. Look back at mm. the big rise it had previously. So if you go back to the last downturn, sort of when was this, uh, 2021, like I said, it, it crossed down there. It has to cross the 20 day moving average anyway. Uh, and the turn of day. And in fact, you go back here, back to the dash for cash crash. It dipped down. When would you jump in? It's hard to guess the bottom. So don't bother trying. Because yeah, if you try right. and guess the bottom, it can go lower. Well, it's the same, uh, with, it's, it's like same with Hargreaves going back to that. I mean, it's just a very similar looking share price. Yeah. Chart. You know, it's not not far off its lows if, if it's certainly hit them hit, hit them over the last month or so. And but, but and I've said, I, I mean, I attracted to this business. You know, it's a, it's yeah, a yeah, big yeah. broker. Yeah. It's inertia in the market. But, you know, with, with that, as you say, with that downtrend, you look at that thing. Ugh. I, I know, but it's just like saying, it. yeah, but the thing is, we're all animals, we're greedy animals who want to get you know, the most amount of profit, but often by trying to be a bit greedy and trying to guess the bottom, we don't get any profit, we get lost, it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Yeah, so yeah. you may as well just wait until momentum comes in. And in fact, as simple as this is, I mean, on trading view, this is how you, you, you literally right click on the price there, add alert, uh, crossing, uh, sort of crossing, 200 day moving average, click that. And you can, and it'll tell you when it's crossed two hundred. And yeah, I've been yeah. the last few times, it's done that. Like I said, last time it crossed down, it went down. The COVID got dust but crossed back up. And so wait, wait until the money flow is in the right direction. Because at the moment, it's not. I, in fact, I think. Um, who took but, I mean, the other thing to say is that you know, took a yeah, this yes, is yes. this is sort of again, it's a, it's a cognitive bias. You know, we're just sort of drawn to action when yeah, it comes to yeah. investing. You're drawn to doing something. Yeah. You know, and there's a whole world of of media out there. Uh, 
you know yeah, 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 uh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. want you to, to to act you know people want you to invest companies want you to invest in them fund managers want you to invest in them everybody wants you to invest in them. there's hardly any people out there that say don't do it yeah, exactly. <laughs> within the industry exactly They're you're drawn wounded, to yeah. action the whole time and, and our you know inherent makeup makes us drawn to action the whole time as well and sometimes the best thing there's nothing um yeah yeah, yeah. and I what mean, is what is we, it good we all yeah, go well, it's good. What is what you know? What this this period gives us the time to do is just sit back and and actually yeah. take the time to research companies that you're interested in. So yeah. you know you ain't going to miss much on the way back up, uh, yeah. but you've got the time to actually take a very very good hard look at a company like Future. Really understand the business before yeah. you make a decision. I like I said, sat down for an hour and a bit the other day watching the the presentation of, of an evening. Mm, I mm. did look like I did like what he was saying about going into America. He's from American. Uh, he's done very well in America. He said we got two to, two to one sales in the UK compared to America. America's seven times as big. We've got a playbook over here we can do over there. Uh, but we're going to start um, deploying people over yeah, there. Yeah. So I do like that. But it's essentially, I'm, I'm you know there are plenty of companies like this on my watch list that are you know it's just timing and wait. So the market hasn't turned yet. Yeah. The plenty Simon. of time, like John said there, plenty of time to research. Uh, and I said, doing nothing, having patience is this, the biggest discipline you need, I think, in this market. Because you can mm. jump in on a cheap share, it'll keep getting cheaper. And, yeah. uh, and so your portfolio will go down. Do you, yeah. want to see, do you want to see something with some serious momentum? YCA. YCA. YMCA. Oh, this is yellow cake, yeah? Mm. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And um, that's exactly, I mean, even here, you see, it's, it's done very well, isn't it? Trend, I mean, you know, it's three states of the chart, John, isn't it? Three states of the chart, uptrend, downtend range. And like I said, down there, downtrend, broke to today, new highs up here, didn't touch to today, dipped once or twice there, up again, broke up, little bit of a range that's coming to range, and now back up again, way above the today moving average. You see, it's broken right up. Wow. It's, it's exactly. Well, they had some numbers out this week, so they've going um, like nuclear. <laughs> indeed. Well, they're they're increasing their holdings. Of uranium, um, but but more importantly, the uranium spot price is going through the roof. So the value of those holdings are increasing at the same time. It's double, nice. double whammy of of good news behind this behind this share price. And then you had you've got the COP twenty eight um, climate summit yeah. going on outside of the Middle East, uh, and uh, you've had huge commitments to rolling out nuclear yeah. from around the world. Um, yeah. So so you know. The stars are aligned for this one. And, you know, I, I, I mean, like you sort of get a bit giddy when a share price looks like that, but how much mm -hmm. further can it go? Yeah, but momentum um, is powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if, uh, Cohort came up on one of John's screening pages last week and the defence industry results tomorrow. Even the chart looks prime. Yeah, we did look at that. Uh, we did look at that. Let's, let's look at the chart of uh, Cohort. Uh, let's see. HR. Yeah, last, was it Friday? Was it? Was it yeah, cohort, we did a screen on Friday. Um, let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, but so if you look at that, look at that. I mean, it, it is, you know, it's high lows there. All of a sudden, you've got here, it's a bit of a bitty chart, but you've got here now, maybe the start of a, a higher high here. And you've got, a, you know, lower high, a higher low there. Hello. Um, so, yep. yeah, it's, it's almost bottoming out there. It's nice. Uh, it's very decent, point. very decent growth forecast for next few years as well. Um, yeah. So certainly at the pre-tax line, plus 36%, 24, plus another 6%, 25, plus another 8%, 26. You know, PE less than 15. You yeah, know, it's sort of, it's sort of, it's sort of, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I hate to say, I mean, defence is, defence, the defence spending is, is going to rise. It, it's defense just going to rise. Uh, yeah, defence is not defensive. It's offensive. offensive. It's, it's really offensive well, at the it? moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, uh, um, you know, but that, that said, over the years, you know, a lot of people, what you have to remember about defence, again, you have to be careful, you know, there, there, there is a rising tide, but, you know, a lot of, lots of the UK players, not your BAEs and your Rolls Royces, but a lot of the smaller players are, are providing subsystems for very larger, you know, much larger defence projects. Um, yeah. And, you know, that that can that can be fraught with with difficulties. We've seen a lot of companies run into trouble over the years in the defence market for, for, you know, because they, they just they, they're they're further down the value chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um... So, uh, Michael, you asked about H and L and Age Bell. I assume we, we've covered that there, but basically FCA looking into them overcharging, double dipping, no double dipping. Um, nice initial news from JLP today: a high-profile funding partner for next Zambian devs, but it needs ironing, ironing, ironing out over the next few weeks. Yes, Mr. Steve, JLP, Jub Jubilee. Oh, is it Jubilee Metals? Jubilee yeah, Metals. And, uh, no, and, and, uh, I'm not into work. Uh, uh, resource Ooh, seriously uh, though actually, just look, i don't i mean again I, I i don't spend a lot of time looking at miners but i'm just looking at their you know it's a bit it's producing yeah no they are they are and they did, um, they did, they did, they did do tailings dumps and all that stuff so mm, it's a, it's a, mm. a roller stream i mean uh, they're on the podcast years ago but look at that that's that's just the resource um sector i mean 
it's come down literally to see from Feb 2022. Profits have been going nice back. Nice big update today. Look at that. Up 20, yeah, up 23%. Yeah. But um, again, maybe that's the end of the downtrend. You see a little bit of a, a rise there, but uh, JLP. Um, uh, John, have you tried, I mean, you uh, you said you, they, you who are you with? Interactive, is it? Uh, interactive, um, yeah. Okay. Right, right. Uh, Informa said, have I tried two and two? No, I've tried free trade. It's very good. The app is very easy to use. Uh, very impressive, uh, you know. Um j and I know this about stocks, but what's your view on direct guilt investments? 30% plus modified duration. Is that a year on a TG61? It, is this still English? Uh, if you are convinced interest rates will cut, why not? I find them so boring. I like businesses. I like to invest in businesses and research businesses. There's a story there. You know, there's no story. Just, there's a macro. Just there's a back. macro story. No, you may as well sit back in the comfy <laughs> chair and wait for death. <laughs> That's what I think. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts. I think there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of moving parts in the gilt market, which I'm, and I'm, you know, I've always been an equities guy. So, you know, okay. were, were I to invest in gilt, I would, I would yeah. probably hand it over to an expert. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, but there is, you know, again, portfolio construction says you should have some exposure to gilt. Um, you know, it's 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 yeah. risk. It's a, a the risk if you're passive. Free. I'm not. I'm not passive though. You know, I'm, I'm literally. You know, I, I look at shares every day. I mean, I agree with that. I mean, there are you know Vanguard funds, retirement funds that do that, and they basically adjust. It's very clever. You basically put in your data retirement, and mm. then they adjust the the, the amount of uh, amount of, of shares equity to uh, bonds yeah, yeah. you hold. And yeah, as you yeah. get you know every like, year or something, it slowly goes. So it starts off having something like sixty forty, and then close to get retirement. Uh, 60 percent uh, equities, forty percent bonds, yeah. and then the closer you get to time, it, it starts to get bonds go overweight. Then, um, Which, the, the, so having said that, you've been that good to be retired the last couple of years, and you're well, in that's, bonds. But, but that's poor indeed. So, but yeah. you know, the old sixty forty idea sort of went a bit out the window in recent yeah. years. But but then the idea, you know, as you get towards retirement, you should be focused more on capital preservation. Yeah. Um, you know, the last thing you want to do is hit retirement and find a pot that suddenly vanishes. Yeah, um, I just think that's why I like dividend, a uh, dividend paying fund. I think the biggest companies that I've got in the UK, yeah. they pay good dividends. And I think there's 50 of them. It's not going to be that volatile, but it just pays out, you know, of over 5% dividend. <laughs> and of course, you can get rises. I, I think that's but quite it's, safe. But it's also why, you know, when a lot of people do hit retirement, you've got, you, they buy an annuity. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, if you, if you then have a sudden inflation spike uh, and yeah. you've bought an annuity paying, you know, X amount a year and suddenly that's worth, you know, five, ten percent less a year than it was before, then you're stuck with that. You've got to f replace that fixed income from somewhere else. So, I mean, there's always so many moving parts, and every 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 situation is completely individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. so the useless advice. Exactly. But, you know, you know, that's it, though. That's why the markets are so hard. That's maybe when you get into them. I mean, you've got to have a strategy in some way, and I, I do mm, think you know it's, mm. it's it is quite hard. I mean, it's I, I think generally, if you're going to be passive, just go for a low cost, very well diversified fund. Uh, in fact, it's like the Vanguard all shares about eight thousand stocks in it. Around the world, and it, it, it's mm, never mm. going to take a massive tanking, but it, you know, um, but it's never going to shoot up like crazy. And it's why it, it's so, also you know, why there is a, there is a role for financial advisors. You know, there is a role for people who, who you know, literally who will you know, charge you to put you in that fund. That was well, they, they might do buy, that. buy a load of funds you can buy yourself, and they'll charge you for it. Um, I yeah, know, but it gives but, people gives people a peace of mind. You know, yes, and takes a piece of uh, their wages. Uh, <laughs> this, this, uh, so on the front page of Vox, mobile streams expands in Mexico. They're quite a, a retiring flower there. Shy, shy. Man. I like I like what they said here in the RNS. <laughs> it's uh, look at this. Um, MOS. They've taken their ten percent in this uh, Mexican ten percent interest in capital media, and as partners intend to create one of the largest sports media groups in the UK by partnering with one of the largest media publishers in Mexico. They've got ambition, they said that, and they are not scared to express that. No, but, um, no. They've raised some money to do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've been doing these big NFT deals with a lot of the uh, Mexican sports market, you know, <clears throat> football teams. Uh, they've done the NFT deals with artists as well. They've done NFT deals with golfers. You know, so, so I mean, it's a sports, it's a sports mad market. There is, uh, there is, I mean, there's something there. <laughs> <laughs> as you said, I can mind that. There's something there, I think. Um, okay, that's, that's the chart of uh, mobile sports. Uh, uh, Atlantic Lithium have done their first mineral resource estimate for a byproduct of spodumene, which is yeah, uh, feldspar for ceramics, which ceramic is ceramic um, manufacturing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's good. It's I mean, good. You know, that's yeah, that, yeah. but then that helps their uh, ESG criteria because they're you know that's supporting the development of another industry within within Ghana. Yeah, um, yeah. you know the ceramics industry. So exactly so, second revenue stream. So, so and, and obviously you know if they are able to sell that byproduct, then that 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 brings them an additional revenue stream on top of the lithium. Um, yeah, yeah. Talking of yeah. ESG, uh, we had some from Clean Tech today as well. 
who've done. Yeah, look at that. Look at the chart of the thing. It's flirting that 200 day moving average. It is almost a, at this previous support. It needs to get above that. I think a good yeah. bit more news and it may, it may punch. Sometimes you see companies flirt with the 200 day moving average. All you need is a good bit of news. It'll pump up. Uh, CTL. Uh, yeah, so they've, well, they've done a, a part yeah, of the community to, um, yeah, this is. Yeah, but these uh, are the communities. Uh, you've got to do that, isn't it? With mining companies, you've 100%. got to do that. You've got to bring them on board. Everyone in that area, you've got to bring them on board. You can't just go there and start mining in their community and say, right, no. we're doing this. We're creating loads of money. No, for, I mean, they've, they've, said this, they've said this is their approach in the beginning. Yeah. Good to see in action. But but yeah, this is this is, this is is what all miners have to do in this day and age. If they want to sell that, so if they want to sell a product into, say, Western markets where there's very, very you know significant ESG concerns, then, then they have to make sure that their 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 chain, their production chain, is is, is squeaky clean and 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 sort of you know as inclusive as the community is as possible, and as environmentally um yeah unimpactful as possible as well. Ooh, that's come down a bit, but do you know what? I, well, you I, can I do this in this. the lithium price. Yeah, lithium price in the I mean, I mean, I, mean, I think uh, clean uh, sort of Atlantic is holding up because you've got to be a, you know a, a low cost producer, and they are, and I think these guys maybe as well. I'm not, but do you know what? It's quite fine. I read an R and S. Many years back, I thought it was a joke I, I, mm. um, about um, someone in Africa uh, doing some mining or doing some a project in Africa. And to get permission, this is the kind of thing you have to do, they had to give the community elder of the village a cow. That was in the r yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's important to respect in, in, the indigenous customs. I, I, I'm just looking at... I just... 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 I I I live in South Wales. Everything they goes on all the time. <laughs> it's pigs around here. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a pig, mate, and you can uh, take my hand, uh, my daughter's hand in marriage. Yeah, we're not far away from that. <laughs> 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 um, the, 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 the clean tech lithium price, the Atlantic lithium price, they they very much reflect the lithium carbonate price. Yeah. Uh, some of the news here. Uh, so, uh, we got clean tech there. Uh, Singapore uh, broadens Bellascura, Asian market. They've been uh, approved there, haven't they? And they're breaking up into. Yeah. I think. Uh, what's the Bellascura chart like? Because it did rise and then it came back a lot. Um, Bellascura. Oh, no. So, it's, yeah, it's at the bottom. It's had a little rally today. But uh, what's the market cap of Bellascura these days? Oh, I know uh, we've had some issues yeah. with our data on our site and it's I now being you. sorted out. But uh, 32, is that right? Yeah. Okay. I'll okay. have a look as well. Confirm that. Um, most followed, just like this. Uh, going, uh, so there's a couple of results out there. I don't know if you saw them, but um, what is it? Uh, so Sander, of course, always good to look into these because it's, it's sort of, you can see how the sort of online or you know fashion markets in you know, half your results for them. Uh, they are, of course, a lot smaller than the big players like Assos and Google. But um, but the, 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 where's the figures here? Uh, net revenue growth, 6%. 22 million up to 21 lost for tax to 1.3 so they were you know made 100 grand a profit in, in last time gross margin increase to 54 so that's a good sign net cash 7 million so it's, you know they've got cash and uh how much they lost uh you say yeah 1.3 so they've got plenty of cash there but um you know all these sort of uh fashion retailers they've been hammered haven't they mm. like, i think you said did you say recently that if you have bricks and mortar pretty much you're holding up better than online is it, that that, is it that online or not is yeah it just, yeah it's um, online yeah it's just online okay yeah but look at that torrid time again it's come down it, it lows recently october 2023 you know it's just bouncing off that level yeah exactly. yeah i think what we're saying the other day is if you look at the charts and say next b and m yeah razors you know which are, which are of course they have an online presence and quite significant online presence it's b&m actually doesn't um but uh but they're they're really really bouncing strongly after after you know post-pandemic period of weakness um the bmm haven't got an online presence do they no that's what i'm saying well they just deny it they think it's a fad do they you know what? I mean, well, prince, no, prince thought it's, that for a while you're prince of artists he thought that for a while he says a fad he'll go away it's, it's and then all of a sudden he model. decided to do all his albums online <laughs> So it's he not, changed his mind completely. It's just not their model. Uh, you could look at, uh, you know, look at TK, TK Maxx. I mean, yeah. you know, it's great. Well, in fact, Primark for a Max. while didn't do it at all, didn't they? And, mm, um, mm. and uh, yeah. Who else? Well, because, you want people to come, because you want people to come to the shop and impulse purchase and, yeah. you know, uh, uh, it's, it's, I mean, Next is very cleverly combined sort of physical and online. So, so actually having the physical presence yeah. makes actually the, the whole... Uh, e-commerce delivery a lot easier you know click and collect has become a much much bigger part of the business mix uh you know when it comes to sort of things like returns 
that 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 makes it so much easier actually people you know they, they often want stuff on a certain day and are happy to go and pick it up rather than it's sort of being left in the rain on the doorstep amazon yeah. uh but um so yeah it's it's sort of the market has shifted the sentiment towards online versus bricks and mortar stroke click and connect has shifted hybrid this, everything yeah, this, should be hybrid this is a stock right this rally but paul so i think paul scott talked about this uh but i, I watched this a while back and i just looked at them i thought they're not good value at all but they literally look at that another chart on that ms international it does, right? it do? yeah. it's like in infrastructure framework for like petrol stations and they need a bit of defense as well uh but this is the website look at their website right so that's their website awesome well, at least you know what they do. It was like the, you know, the, the, the sixth form son of the directors knocked that up, wasn't he? Or something. But, um, but it's, well, it's they, very they, clear. They, it's very clear yeah. exactly what they do. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Public Energy Court London uh, in defence, forgings, petrol stations, superstructures, all that kind of stuff. Um, but, I, you know, I, I don't I like that. I kind of like that website. <laughs> you. Uh, for the half year, half year results of the day. Uh, the profit board tax increased substantially to 7.7, which is nice, up mm. to 3.6, uh, versus revenue to 57. So if you do 14, well, I suppose at a P of 10, and they sort of, so it's not that bad, really. I was a little close to that. So balance sheet strong, net cash, net cash of 50 million. Wow. That's that's why. Oh, so the EV is literally, what's their market cap? So the market cap, so the EV is about, you know, 50, 100 million. So, oh yeah, okay, they, so they're not really quite cheap then. They're not, they're not expensive. That's not that bad. Yeah, they're not giving much away, are they? I'm just looking at the same. <laughs> so there's not really any... any no, no they, 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 it's, it's, it's very... Oh, yeah. no it's the opposite of mobile streams, I think. They, they, under, they do under sort of, uh, you know, promise, well, you know, over-deliver maybe. Uh, but um, I'll tell you what's true. I mean, defence and security, boom. Yeah. There you go, back, back to that. Back it's very that. interesting. They, they literally have got uh, what was the cash restricted forty two million at that. So they got any debt? No, they haven't got debt. They so they got no debt. Plenty. Of, that's I do like a company like that with no debt, plenty of cash, no messing around. That's mm, what I like. Mm. Uh, no, just trying to defence and security. Uh, just want to see what they do. They US do Navy deliver. Oh God, US Navy contracts expected to commence later this year. Deliveries. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Defense, uh, let's defense, uh, defense. cover off some Ooh. of the um, some of the some of the um, uh, informal unlike uh, yeah, you, apparently, have you, have you used 212? No, I haven't. Uh, you got a free ISA, your cash is 4.5 percent. Mm, that's good, yeah. That um, is good. so but in ISA, you get four percent just for holding cash. If, you just, if, if you're not invested, that means they'll give you 4.5 percent. That's very good, actually. I think that's um, the, that's the so as long as you, I mean, as long as you can get it out straight away, then you know, and invest it straight away, there's no lock, lock in on that, and that's a good that's a good interest rate. Yeah, oh, do you know what you're convincing me in former? I said once I went from my broker to two one two, all I could think about was how long I'd been a fool for paying fees when I didn't have to. Exactly, they're now paying you, and so that that, that will tip the balance. Already, I'm thinking because I'm sitting on you know uh, my portfolio, I'm not fully invested. I got cash there, and again, I could get some money for that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, two, yeah trust, two, 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 two twenty three thousand six hundred thirty five trust pilot reviews. Average review review four point six out of five stars. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, um, very right. So, um, Mr. Steve says UK unemployment is pretty low levels. Yes, it is, but it's predicting the Bank of England even are predicting to go up to over five percent over the next uh, year or so. So, it is going to tick up uh, slowly. Will tick up um, mm. unless you have a rolling off mortgage or increasing rents. You're laughing at this cost of living crisis in the face. <laughs> yeah, well, the trouble is, I mean, I, 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 I was reading something earlier about the rental market. Um, and that there may be some pressure on on more well, further pressure on landlords because although you know we talked about it in respect of Belvoir on Friday, you know the the, the rental market is very strong for the you know for, for, for landlords that re rents are rising. I think they I think they've always, they're about ten percent or something this year. Well, in fact, it's news out from Zoopla today. Uh, in fact, let me just get it up there. I think it was uh, where did I see that uh, news out from Zoopla. Uh, BBC, I saw that. They're, they're saying rents have now peaked. They're saying. Well, this um, is this is exactly it. So yeah. so because and it's because of affordability. So yeah, you know yeah. if if uh, if if landlords you know uh, can't extract yeah, for yeah. more rent increases out of their tenants, which it, it seems unlikely that they can because of the cost of living crisis, then you may see a, uh, some pressure on uh, <clears throat> landlords' ability to own own um, uh, houses. There are are the most common to rent these that have us they go up for in the last is it last uh, since uh, 2021 so that's some of the going up for rent pretty much mm, but they're mm. saying now it's uh yeah peaked um 
still a big increase, but they have peaked. And the UK, rents across the UK have been rising sharply, with the average cost for new let to go up by 31%, or £3,368 pound a year over the last three years. Yeah. Yeah. But now they're starting to peak out. Yeah, exactly. People can't afford it. They're going to live with their parents or something, or whatever. They need to do. Well, you just can't, you know, people cohabit more, won't they? It's just like yeah. they did in the Ooh, old days. I see. And that leads to more babies. What's that right? This life. That lead lead to more babies, more productivity. You know, there we go. more buying. Um, bigger, every cloud, bigger, bigger population. Every cloud has a silver lining. Yeah. One other bit of news: uh, image scan holdings. Have you ever heard of these? A tiny little. Why did memory do it, Tim? Yeah. Look at that. Um, and literally, the, I think the results of the day. Uh, IGE didn't see it. Is it a tiddler? Uh, if, if that's to believe, two point two eight million market cap. Um, image scan holder technology was listed on the London Stock Exchange. We operate globally, both directly and through partners from our headquarters. So I'm assuming, but these are final results today. And uh, look at that order intake up 31 percent, 2.9 sales, 3 million. So more than one time sales here. Gross profit, 58 48 percent. Cost on pre tax profit of uh, uh, 100,000. They're cash of a million, but if they're making money, they don't need that much cash. But I mean, that's I mean, they're, they're a tiddler with probably a little liquidity, but in my mind. They go down a day. They're down ten percent. So what am I missing here? Um, yeah. Are they saying are they saying the outlook is looking bad because uh, outlook uh, heightened engagement with trade shows when the strengthening of opportunity barrier. Uh, where's the however? So I don't know why they dropped ten percent. Well, it's okay, as you said, but if there's if there's not a lot of liquidity, then you know it doesn't yeah. take a lot to move to move the share price by quite a big big chunk. They're saying here, image scan has successfully navigated through the challenges posed by this year's inflationary pressures. As well as disruption, supply chains. Uh, while the impact, are, while the impact of supply chains is diminishing, there remains a concern regarding the supply of certain components mm. that yeah. are beyond our control. So, yeah. is that a little bit of negative in there? Any negative in the RSS these days um, in the bear market? I mean, you got look, I mean, just yeah. looking at keep it, go back up a bit. There's key performance indicators there. So, you know, look, gross margin is slipped. Uh, yeah. Order intake is low, and it wasn't 2019. Yeah. But, so, you know, I mean, it's just. It's a, these are nice little companies. You do wonder why they're listed because, yeah. <laughs> you know, these seem like nice little private companies. Yeah, and, and that's it. I mean, you know, the costs of listing, I mean, I've heard, you know, mm. do half a million a year pretty much. So if, if that's your turnover, pretty much it's gone. So uh, you do, why not go private? I know, but that'll be tank the shares as well. Yeah, well, um, But uh, there you go. Um, okay. Uh, anything else just on... Uh, what else? Yeah, uh, what else? The only thing I noticed today um, was was headland, but it's more just a sort of uh, uh, it's a floor coverings distributor. Uh, shares headland. down. Oh, headland. headland. Shares down about five percent. And I mean, not terrible. Not it's a trading update, but um, but it's just again, I was I was only going to pick it out as a sign that that you know not not all of the the stuff we've talked about the the, the weakening economy has yet filtered through to the market. So then we get a little little update like today to give us a little slap to remind us that that there's still some yeah. bad news that isn't necessarily all priced in. Yeah, Headlam, we're saying. Uh, I'm going to spell that wrong, and I Headlam. So what's go. their size? One sixty two. Yeah. Like trading update. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, volume of sales in the UK market twenty percent lower. We know that, but it's just it's yeah. it's just it just shows that things out there are still very very tough. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yes. I want to say that. Yeah. Uh. Just finish off on the comments here. Uh. Let's look here. Um. Uh. Michael S, I've cursed good energy down 27%. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you did buy, uh, you know, when it's rising quite at the top there. Just check out the RSI. When a company's RSI is above like 70, just, just hold back a bit, you know. Um, but good energy is coming off a bit. My stop loss is better kick in. Uh, okay. Um, the small <coughs> company share what? Golden Cross and Solly. This is Solly State. Let's look at the chart of Solly State here. Solly... Nice yeah, they had some nice numbers recently. Uh, let's, sort of, let's put the 50 day moving average on so you can see that golden cross and uh, oh that's the wrong one uh, that's a crossover oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah it's a, a bit of a rangy thing uh, but it, 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 yeah if it stays above that that's good I mean obviously the price needs to stay above 50 day moving average to drag it up further and then eventually if it continues up there the 200 day moving average uh, will will go up yeah they, well. they had a, we, we, we briefly mentioned them last yeah, we week did nice interim yeah. results um, yeah but again, there's yeah. there's a bit of, there's a bit of defense stuff in there as well. Yeah, Michael uh, McBride, brilliant run. 
Have you been in McBride? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, because didn't, didn't they do a sell off? And, and then let's have a chart on McBride. <laughs> this company's had more sell offs than I've had hot dinners. Um, wow, look at that. You can get that. You can get that kind of thing. We get oversold. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that, happened, that happened in um, Good Energy. But if, what, what's going to happen now, though, you, you get what Good Energy's had, you'll have a major pullback. Okay. And so be aware of that. Like, so you've got to be in before that run happens. You have a major pullback. Uh, who knows to where and come back down to. But um, uh, it may need to come back down to this sort of 60 pence level. Maybe that's previous support there. But you um, can't tell really. But, you know, you get some selling coming in. And I mean, because... course, selling begets selling. So be careful when you have a big breakneck rise of that. That's why I prefer the small little rises rather than breakneck rises. Because you do have then the, the wow. people buying it. No offense, Michael S. But buying at the top, selling straight away when starts to fall. And that... It's selling to get selling, it's momentum, and so sometimes a breakneck rise is not what you want. One you know? thing I would say, one thing I would say about McBride, just looking at the um the, the financials, the mm. shares are still extremely cheap, less than yeah, six yeah. times. No, that can happen, earnings. but when you have a rise of that, people take profit. Mm, but a lot of mm. people, you'd be surprised how many people don't know about valuations, they don't care, they're just sitting on a, on a profit, they say, I'm gonna take the profit now. And or some people jumping in, chasing the share price, then just yeah. selling, realizing, yeah, but. You know, it may have to consolidate and come round for a while it's, because, like I said, it's gone risen a lot. It's it's this whole this whole business. It's a very very low margin business. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's a volume game. Um, but you know, they they are in the right place. We know that. You know, they they do a lot of they make a lot of sort of you know private label stuff for Audi, Lidl, etc. But it's a low margin business. Execution is everything, and, they, and they, you know, this is where the problem's been in the past. You know, one slip up and it's a it's a disaster on on yeah. the bottom line. Um, still a long way below all time highs. Yeah, uh, Gregory, the uranium price is good news for Geiger counter, bigger profit for miners when they come up to it. Uh, also, a cow is expensive. Yeah, Mr. Steve, I hope the cow lived long and a healthy life. And um, Gregory said the cow probably was more profitable than the mine. Yeah, that is the case. Uh, is, yeah. <laughs> uh, without giving that cow away, they wouldn't be able to move on with the project. Very good. Um, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Is it that time of year? The Christmas just back from the dentist. Out already. Is, is it Steve? Just back from the dentist. Have you discussed RWS? No, we haven't. Yes, we have. <laughs> no, we haven't. No, we what haven't. Was RWS? Did we see, what was the news on that? Is there anything? Uh, there was there were some numbers out today. Uh, I did mean to mention this. They're down 10%. I mean, it's... Uh, what have they got? They've got annual, annual results out. Um, I, I must admit, I had it at the top of... The revenues down, profit adjusted PVT down. Uh, net cash yeah. down quite a lot. Uh, I'm trying to find anything good in this statement. Yeah, down everything down. Uh, profit loss at 113 percent from 83 to 10 minus well minus 11 million. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's, yeah, it's, um, just, uh, it's, it's it's a bit it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a messy uh, bit of a messy statement that one. 52 uh, total liabilities. Uh, so they got okay 52 million. I just wonder how much. Yeah, they got there. Uh, 52. Mm. Uh, 52. Anything else? Uh, a payable lease, lease liabilities? Uh, no. Okay, it was not that bad. Um, yeah, cash. Um, yeah, just yeah, a pretty horrible looking set of numbers. Uh, okay, let's have a. How did the how did the market react to that today? The market, badly. the market, like very badly. Day. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, you can see there. You know, it broke down. Was that a previous trading update? I know there, maybe. Uh, it broke down. It managed to rally back, and it's back down there. So um, it needs a little, a little time to for these numbers to settle in, I think, and recover. But um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked at the sector. Right, tra basically transaction services. Um, okay. So I don't, I don't, I, I haven't looked at it. It's not something. I just instinctively feels like somewhere I wouldn't want to be an investor in, given. Yeah, lots of the progress being made elsewhere. In, yeah, AI. You know, it, 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 translation. It, it, it'll, I just, it just feels like you away. probably yeah. maybe avoid that. But yeah. the, but obviously, the, you know, this, these these transitions take a long time. And groups like RWS, RWS have a lot of relationships, specialisms, and, you know, translating an auto manual or whatever it might be. Or, uh, you know, there, there is a lot of work in that. But yeah. but lumpy yeah. and cyclical as well. Yeah. Uh, cool. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, for joining. And uh, but as always, go on, hit that like button. Go for it. Share it with someone. Share it with a stranger. So if you check this out, uh, do that. And then, uh, as all, you know, most important thing, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and download the Voxmarkets app, voxmarkets.co.uk forward slash app. Thank you, Johnny. Um, are you around Friday? I am. Cool. I am. Okay. Speak then. Cheers, fella. Yeah. See you later.